Hi everyone, welcome to the latest video. This is a haul video. We are Faye and Simon, FNS resellers here on YouTube and also on Instagram. As I said, this is a haul video, so we've got a selection of stuff that we've bought and the intention is to sell it online for a profit. The places we sell are Amazon and eBay mainly. We have dabbled in other areas. We don't really enjoy using those other platforms. They don't really bring the results. I don't feel they bring the results for the time that you put in. Um, I know you have to build everything slowly but surely. So we picked up um, games, DVDs, shoes, clothes, and some bric-a-brac. As usual, pretty standard stuff for us. Mm. Um, it was over, was it four little trips here and there? Three, four, no it was four. Um, so Monday we had to pick up some bits and bobs from the auction that we won, so we popped two charity shops on that trip. I didn't pick up anything on those two charity shop trips, they were, it was pretty dire, but you got some bits. Then Tuesday we popped to our local one, there's just one in that town, and um, I got two items of clothing and you got a few bits. Then Wednesday the dogs were being groomed in the afternoon so um, we kind of take that as like daycare <laughs> for a few hours to get out so um, we put to a town the same town every time they get groomed and it didn't do well for us last time they were groomed and it didn't do well for us really this time um, so much so that we've said we're gonna sort of go somewhere else so um, got a few bits and bobs there and then Thursday I just met my mum, sister and niece for lunch and I just popped into one chaza and got one DVD. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it wasn't the best week for sourcing, um, but we still got some good stuff. We're still going to make money, still going to pay the bills. Um, mm. So yeah, we'll show you what we've got. Yeah, we, and we've still got stuff from lockdown. I we, We've decided we're sort of reconfiguring our spare room. So uh, that means I need to sort of start making a dent on stuff that I just had. I wouldn't really call it a death pile, but um, stuff that just needs looking at. I've got some like themed scale electric sets. I think I've got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle scale electric set out there. Another one as well, something or other scale electrics, um, and a few other bits. And I've got loads of vinyl, which isn't taking up loads of room, but I need to. I, I know there's some really good, um, valuable stuff in there, so I do need to really get onto that. And I've still got a couple of things in the barn that um, that I need to look at as well again with some sort of good potential sales value so anyway as Faith said it wasn't the most successful trip but we are it, it, it's sort of allowing us to work in other areas of the business so focusing on sales not just listing and posting stuff but actually focusing on sales which we do anyway um, but it just sort of brings it into sharper focus when you have time you've got less time to list stuff um, you can spend more time running promotions, tweaking, price changing, general sort of strategy stuff. Speaking for myself, I'm kind of a real believer in that sort of retail is detail, like the four P's of retail. Um, and, you know, just sort of listing stuff and then hoping it'll sell isn't, isn't really enough for a business. There aren't any retailers that build big retailers that operate in that way. So... There's no need for small retailers to, to, to work any differently. So without further ado, um, should we show some bits? Yeah, go for it. Should I start? I think you should because I've got four things. <laughs> <laughs> well, your favourite thing's going to be easy then, isn't it, this week? Maybe I won't have a favourite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hate it all. Uh, okay, so the first one is the really nasty horse racing game. We've talked about this before. And we recently picked up the motor one, the brand new and sealed. I can't remember if it's sold yet or not. Uh, Something about. Or not. I priced it really high. Um, we priced it at something like £65 because that was the cheapest on Amazon. Um, but as we've said and as we've been saying, we've had a few messages about pricing and what have you. And you know, we always start high and then bring them down. The, the Amazon price and the Amazon price that Faye will be looking at today is the current selling price. Harley Davidson crew just went past, got the window open. <laughs> that doesn't mean to say that it's the price that it's going to sell for, um, but that's our starting point and then we'll let the repricer in Amazon's case bring the prices down and on eBay we do it manually. Uh, so we paid £2.50 for this, it's used. Uh, £19.53 used, only available used. 
scenic magical moment. We had this before. Oh, I don't even know where we are. Um, and it, the price bombed on it. So actually, when I saw this, I nearly didn't pick it up and scan it um, because the price had bombed so much. But that was around six months ago. It's really important that I just sort of check back on things every now and again. You can't just assume because uh, the price has crashed on it before that it's that it stayed down there. And I'm hoping now Faye's going to give me some good news. So I paid one pound ninety five for that. Okay, well it's only available um, used, and the cheapest is five pounds. However, that's just one person, and it's fifteen, seventeen ninety nine, nineteen eighty nine. So whoever's got it listed for a fiver. But they might have it listed for a fiver because they've had it for a long time. They want to, you know, whatever reason. I can't, I'm not gonna, you know, we, oh, we yeah. do, <laughs> yeah, we do price stuff low as well when the time comes. Like for example, if they just had a long term storage just about to hit, they're gonna want to get rid of it. This is countdown paid one pound forty five. Again, it's used. This one is unavailable, new or used on Amazon at the moment. Yeah, that, the thing works. Oh, Snoopy's come piling in. Snoopy like loves. Well, he loves you when you're like tinkering around with board games and make noises. <laughs> he always comes to it. Yeah, it's just like he was just standing there tilting his head at it. <laughs> um, now, something I spotted when I was unpacking all this stuff a minute ago, which is a bit of a shame. Um, so I paid um, four pounds used. But what I just noticed was that, so I've been eaten by a mouse. Oh yeah, and there, yeah. and there. So that's a bit of a shame. However... You could use it for spares and repairs. Well, the thing is, I've got, I've got billions of spares for Trivial Pursuit, but what I, of the pieces of the, ch the cheese, there's probably a mouse in it, can you imagine? Oh my God, can you imagine? There's a dead mouse in here. I think I prefer it to be dead than alive. Yeah. Um, so, there's no mouse in it. What I don't have is the spare movers, so these will um, come in handy because I've got a couple of sets that I've not been able to do anything with just because of those movers. So oh. that is pretty good and so for what, oh, four pounds, but. And the box will keep us warm because we can put it on the fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I got another trivia to see. This was five pounds. Uh, it's used again. It's a family edition, so it's the old family edition. Okay, it's only available used for twenty pounds and ninety-five p. Uh, Who's the dude? Just makes me want to say it in an American accent. Here's it's the, the word. Dude. Yeah, it's the word dude, isn't it? Uh, so this is like an inflatable dude. I don't really know how the game works, like charades or charades or whatever you want to call it. Um, something like that. And it always sells really quick. At the moment, I think it's about £24. Yeah. I think it's new and used, same no, price, or just no new used. maybe. Yeah. So when you when you list this used, it sells super, super quick, even at, say, 20 quid if it's 24 it's got new. It's 707 reviews. That's a lot, isn't it? For a game not, that's not, not been bad. around. Yeah, for a game that's not that it's old. It's 2017. Yeah, so um, £3. Happy with that. Oh, did you say? Oh, you said... 23 new, not available used. No. Now, this was an interesting one. More Trivial Pursuit. Trivial Pursuit. Globe Trotter, uh, three pound fifty. I don't know if I've seen this one. Is before. it geography one? Yeah, and I oh. thought I thought we should play this. We should play that. We really like our geography. We do. We won't um, play with HZ resellers though, because well, we should play with HZ resellers. We'll smash them. We will smash them. That was three pounds. That is available. Use twenty five ninety five. Um, and some DVDs. Let's get these out of the way. That's the one I got when I went out for lunch. Oh yeah, and I even, because Faye came back and said it was one pound, not one pound fifty. So I even, at that moment, tore the price thing in half to hide the 50. Because wow. that is the sort of organisation level that yeah. I like to keep. And it needs to go on the accounts as cash purchase. Oh. I couldn't pay with card because uh, it was too low of transaction. Yeah. So, 8 99 new. Okay. Um, and then we've got Tangled 3D, sort of surprised me a bit. Kids ones often aren't that great, but I always check them when they're new. Um, unless it's like Kung Fu Panda, just save yourself the time. <laughs> You've got real B for that. Yeah. Uh, not available, um, new. Yeah, paid £2.99 for that one. 
199 was the Rugrats movie. I was pleased, I think I was quite pleased with this one as well. Uh, so it's brand new and sealed, Rugrats movie. That one, new, is 877. Oh, I'm not as pleased as I remember being. And this is weird, the same charity shop had Home Alone, this is the four movies of which I have only seen one, and that was only recently. Um, and I had this one at 199, and then I had another one, which was just a different design, and that was 299. <laughs> um, and this is where, you know, this, this sort of demonstrates like the importance of margins, because I didn't pick up the 299 one, and I did pick up the 199 one. So I did pick up the 199 one because it is. 10.98. But I wouldn't have, you know, for, for three pounds, I wouldn't fancy it. I mean, I still would make four quid profit, but. I think the rank was worse and all the rest of it. There's none, no new in FBA with that either. Mm. I would take the sleeve off of that one before you send it in because it's a totally different cover. Yeah, they'd probably put it on in the Chazza because they, they had another one, they'd probably swap them over. It's such a good rank, right? they'll never get old. Michael Parkinson uh, collection, brand new and sealed, paid £1.99. Uh, new £19.96. Um, and Faye was blanking in a Chazza. And I was like, well, have you checked DVDs? Yeah, I've checked DVDs. And I was like, well, so I went over and had a look. Because I just do, because I look, because Faye only really looks at new. And I, there's a few used bits and bobs that I'm looking for. Um, and I found this, and it's, it's new other or whatever, because it's been, or used like new. And it was, there's no price in it, so it would have been a pound. Um. <clears throat> used from £43.95 but it's £41.25 new so, so we're gonna get and it's a 20,000 rank which is like a it's, it's a half decent rank for a DVD so we're gonna get 20 quid for that it's Fern Gully as well you, have you seen Fern Gully? Swimming hasn't Wallace and Gromit three cracking adventures so it's a grand day out the wrong trousers and a close shave brand new and sealed no price on that again so we'll call it a pound £5.63. Oh. That <laughs> happens. Oh, so it's got an old Amazon label on it. Let me take that off. So this has already been an Amazon once. That is an FN SKU. That code X0. Uh, so it's region 2 compatible. <laughs> um, and it's NCIS, whatever, 13th season, paid 6 for it. Not available used, sorry, not available new, £10 used. Cool. Yeah, so happy with that. So if we list it for 20 quid, for example. And this is Tudor's Blu-ray used for, it's not four, it won't be four discs, it's four Boxy. cases. Uh, and I paid £20, so how much do we think that should be worth? Well, it's only available new on Amazon, it's got loads and loads of feedbacks, like thousands. It's um, new, £139.94, and unavailable used. So, you couldn't quite believe it when you saw it in the shop, could you? No. So, you know, £20 is a lot, but I'm going to list that for £99.99. We've paid more for DVDs, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. And um, while we're talking about DVDs, just really quickly, um, in a couple, of, a couple of videos ago, I mentioned that if you aren't able to sell DVDs on Amazon, but you do sell on Amazon, so you're using this, the, the app, um, but you do come across good DVDs, brand new, preferably, um, with good value, if you know how to use the Amazon um, seller app and you know how to identify what's a good seller, and what is going to bring good margin, um, we are taking on like consignments of DVDs to sell on other people's behalf. So if that's something that you might be interested in, um, please let us know. Just contact us over on Instagram. There's like various stipulations and stuff, but from a basic level, if, um, if there's profitable DVDs in your charity shops, auctions, car boot sales, whatever, and you want to get some money for them, but you can't sell them on Amazon, um, then contact us. Do you want to do something or should I keep going? <laughs> no, I'll do something. I will do these. Um, some Fly London uh, sandaly wedgie things. They're all wedges. Um, sandals in green. They're a size six, if I remember correctly. They're like rubbery, plasticky, funny stuff, aren't they? It's like clear. 
Yeah. Right. Through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, size 39, so six. Um, not much else to say about that, but I always pick them up if they're around a fiver. So that's good. And then pass me this guy. Saw one of these the other day, over 20 quid on Wednesday for five pounds. So the last one I had had some damage and I still sold it for 19 pounds within 24 hours of listing it. Um, this one does have a couple of marks, I think, but not as many. Um, so that's not even a, that's just a... In the glaze. Hmm. Uh, so this one I'm oh, going to put it on for about 26 99 and see if it goes quickly. It's not even, oh this one has got a brand, made in England. P and K. Yeah. Oh, price and chemical. Chem so I will have a look at the, um, this one online to see what the comps are saying. If the comps, if the brand know. brings the price down, say you looked up Price and Kensington chickens and it was like they were selling for a tenner, um, would you then just not name the brand and just redo your old listing just with the new pictures and yeah. just leave it unbranded yeah yeah because that is quite a good tactic um we've done it with shoes you know when we buy auction bags and they're and if there's some naff shoes in there and they're like made by like fashion experts dot cn then you might just not put the name of the brand in because yeah. there might be better just to say steel cap boots. Yeah, or fashion trainers or something. Yeah, yeah. skateboard trainers or whatever. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Do you want to do yours? You got yeah. that as well? Yeah, I do that, yeah. Oh, let's do that now. So um, this I picked up for, I think it was 2 99 2 99 um, It does actually scan on Amazon, which is cool. Uh, I was sort of got it for myself, being a uh, gooner. And... Um, but uh, I'll probably leave it because I've got the lads are coming around in a week or so, I think, for a barbecue, so I might just make them all play football with this in the field. Um, but yeah, I think it's fifteen ninety nine. Fifteen ninety nine. So I could, you know, I can just put that in a poly bag. It's, it's new condition. It's never been inflated. It's not scratched or anything like that. It's size five. What do you normally play with? Size five. Uh -huh. So yeah, a bit torn over that. Or maybe I'll put it in a frame. But just wear it as a hat. Because it's cool. Yeah. Because it's called the, uh, I'm like Mushroom from Mario Kart, what's his name? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, toe stool Toe thing. fish? <laughs> Not toe <laughs> fish. It's the signed one anyway, so. Cool. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's not like originally signed on the print. Right, uh, moving on. Pirates of the Caribbean Buccaneer board game. Paid four ninety nine. It's used. Uh, used thirty seven ninety nine. None available new. Uh, old favourite. Absolute border dash twentieth century. twentieth uh, anniversary edition. You nearly I missed this, didn't you? Paid one ninety nine. Yeah, for you, yeah, you did spot this. Uh, now twenty three ninety nine. Used. used. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I've got a little Ravensburger that I'm going to do myself. <laughs> It's 72 pieces, I think. Uh, 30, That's probably a bit much for you. 40. I know. It's all right. It's only 54. I think that's fine. Um, and it's uh, what they called? Telly, 52. Oh, Teddy Tubbies. In the night garden. In the, yeah. What did I say? 54. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. 52. No. 12 plus 16. Let's do this together. That's 30. And then 40. 10 there, and 14, 54. I was looking on here, 10, 27. <laughs> you muppet. What? Oh yeah, that is wrong. It's 10, 12, 14, 16. 10, 12, what? Oh, uh, I did that as 30. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's 52 piece jigsaw. The 54 I was obviously going to struggle with, but knowing it's only 52 now, <laughs> I'm going to give it a go. Uh, <laughs> what did I pay? You're, you say you're oh, the numbers man. Three pounds, <laughs> yeah, I know. In this I know, I'm filing for bankruptcy tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't told you. Um, that's unavailable. Yeah. This is 
I don't even know what it is. I'm going to show you in a minute. If I, if I want to scan it. It's made by Radica. Radica make like 20Q and various other things. Um, the old, uh, oh, what are those things called? I don't know if it says on here, it's Mattel. Yeah, it's not Radica. Um, I don't know if Radica have like anything to do with Mattel nowadays. I'll have to look that up. Anyway, some sort of game, right? And I had one about, I got one about a year, maybe two years ago and it sat. Um, the stuff in the spare room that I'm trying to clear out, there's one there, and I looked at it once. Now, Faye's mentioned this many times, I, I struggle with Playmobil, right? So if you can see that, it's like a bit, you know, and I'll just show you in that. the night garden puzzles. Can you see how I might sort of struggle with this? Yes, I can. <laughs> it says on the front about not for diagnostic, oh, you got to, is it like being in the cube or something? I, you know, I, I just, it was one of those things where I was like, right, you know, I've been putting it off, putting it off, and I was like, right, I'm going to look at it, and two minutes later, I put it off again. It's not designed to be a diagnostic tool, that's what it says. There you go. We need to play this tonight. <sighs> I'll set it up. Okay. You do your jigsaw, and I'll set this up. <laughs> Five games, four players, three levels. Oh, up to four players, so that's okay. All right, so no idea, so we'll let you know, Faye will let you know in, in next week's sales video how we did. And how much did you pay? Um, Six. Six pounds. Use sixty four ninety nine. So best put our finger out and get it in and sell it. Yeah. Um, Monopoly. This is the Disney edition. I don't think it's the pop up board one. I was. I didn't look. I didn't look inside in the Chazza. There's two of these. There's the pop up board where the flag on top of the castle is always broken off. Um, and then there's the flat board one. There, that one's done. And I have a feeling this isn't the pop-up board one. The pop-up board one gets more money. No, definitely not. The pop-up board one, like, it's almost popping out when you pick it up. Oh, dear. Oh, no. So, I think what we'll do with this, most likely, I don't think I've got a spare of this. I have got spares of the pieces, but I think I'm going gonna to do this with spares. It's um, a shame, because it's £44.50. I know, I know. Um... We're off out on a garage sale trail but tomorrow, so you never know. You never know. Also, um, there will be on eBay spares and repairs. So all I, most likely, without counting everything, all I need is the board. So maybe I'll have to get the board. But just think, ooh, yes. Mani manifest, manifest one. Manifest it, yeah, we'll manifest it. Cool. Um, Shall I show that, my bits? Yeah, you show everything else you got. Two things. Here it is, there they are, right. Stop the video. First one, sea salt top, size 20. It is the needlepoint top, because they all say what the top or the item name is on the label. That, to me, doesn't feel like it's been worn. What do you think? Like the, the quality of the fabric, for, you know when... Yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. Just feel, and the black is, because black can fade really quickly, but I don't think that's been worn. Sort of, maybe. Does it smell a bit perfumey? Or is that you? It's me, I smell amazing. <laughs> and I, that was five ninety nine. And then I picked up this. This is also sea salt. And this is a size 18. And it is dun, 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 the Sea Cruise tunic. And this was eight ninety nine. So, not bad. I only tend to... I can definitely smell perfume. It's it could be bad. when they steam it in the charity shop. They might have scented water. Yeah, I picked these up because I was desperate. Um, I looked at bric-a-brac, I'd looked at shoes. I'd looked at books and stuff. So I just went and rummaged around with the clothes and luckily found these two. Otherwise, it'd have been a sorry state last Yeah, week. You, were, you were having it. You were like, you, you were in a bad place like for a couple of minutes to like, Pep torch you back round again. <laughs> I was, I was, but then we've kind of been doing the same places to death and we've had, we've yeah. been lucky, but I think our luck hasn't run out, but we just need to not be stuck in a rut of like, oh yeah, let's go local. In, yeah, in the particular town we went to, they used to have more charity shops, uh, at least three of them have closed down. Last time we went, I got a load of games out of one and it sort of saved the trip almost. If you've seen our video, if you watched our videos, you might remember us saying that 
we went there, we got loads of games, and then in the next charity shot, the manageress ran in and said, oh, they're going to buy loads of stuff, they just bought loads for me, and we didn't buy anything, because no. it was just all cool. I'm really overpriced. Cool. This time, we were like banking, oh, our favourite one's coming out, and there was nothing in there, nothing like what there was before. And um, yeah, talking about overpriced, overpriced for resellers. So we do understand that charity shops charge what they charge, that is absolutely fine, they can charge what they want. But for us as a reseller, for what we're in there for, for looking, looking for stock, it's overpriced. So when we say charity shops are overpriced, that's what we mean. They can charge what they want to the to, anyone. to who they are trying to serve. Um, so if you believe that they're trying to serve the public, um, people that um, need to buy from charity shops, then that's fine. But you know, <laughs> we're seeing sketches for twenty quid. So people with, without much money, are they going to spend 20 quid on a pair of sketches? I'm not sure they are. So, you know, we sort of have to think about it that way. But um, yeah, when we say overpriced, overpriced for a reseller. Yeah, in our opinion, or compared to maybe what they have been in the past, yeah. they're putting their prices up. Or even overpriced compared to other branches in the same chain in a different town. See that all over the, all over the shop. Yeah. So anyway. But um, we have decided there's a we're gonna just go somewhere just about forty minutes away next week, aren't we? That we haven't been to since way before lockdown. Um which fingers crossed might bring in some results. Um but yeah, I think there's a few places we wanna hit, isn't there? We need an army, really, because there's so much out there, so 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 much out there that if you had all the time to source and all the time to list like there's so much money sitting around if you're watching this and wondering if you can get into reselling yeah yeah you can we we've just sort of hit a couple of brick walls recently in a couple of places but there's so much around yeah. and there's you know charity shops aren't the only place to source it's just you just source where where is most effective for your time because if we had twice as much time we would source twice as much from twice as many different types of places but we just focus on charity shops because enjoy it, for the time that we have that's the best and most fun yeah use of our resource what was your favorite pickup i think i'll go for the um tudor's mm -hmm. blu-ray um so it's 145 i think it was new we paid 20 this is used i haven't even looked there might be no discs in here for all I know, but um, if it is complete and the discs are in good condition, um, I'm going to list this for £100. Ooh. What's your favourite pick up Ooh, of out, yours? Out of the four things that I got, it's my chicken. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it was the chicken last time, last yeah. time I bought one. But yeah, it's it my was. chicken. It was, because if you could like keep sourcing those, you could probably tell, sell like. 50 of those a week. Yeah. <laughs> Feel free if you see them, sell them, but just don't tank the price. <laughs> so, thank you very much for watching. Look out for Faye's next sales video coming out next week. We're hoping that there's going to be some good stuff in there. Her last one was just two days, so there weren't any really great sales in there, um, but there were 16 sales in 48 hours, so you know, it could, could, could be a lot worse. Um, but also, we are just starting to ramp up our advertising. We um, we drop it in the middle of the month and we start to, to let it hit its peak. So that's like the value that we throw at advertising our products. Um, so we focus it towards payday. So that is starting to increase now. Um, and also we're currently running a sale and that tends to really sort of start again, ramping up in the last week. So it's a two week sale. Um, we're in the first week and that will start to ramp up. <laughs> Our dog is just, <laughs> is just one disgusting stinky thing. She's, a, oh, she's beautiful, but she's such a little stinker. Um, so, so yeah, that, you know, we, we can usually always put our finger on a reason um, for sales. You know, I look at the stats, I look at the impressions, I look at the conversions, everything all the time and I'm sort of, Quite often saying to Faye, don't worry, either lots of people are experiencing it or it's happening because I'm messing around with the promotions or whatever it is, so that's absolutely fine. 
Um, and also we're selling a lot of stuff that you're not seeing um, on Amazon. Um, the reason you don't see it is because we don't have the stock here, it's in Amazon warehouses. So that's all going well. It's taken a good couple of months to build it back up after the shop's open, um, but we're starting to see the results of that now, so that's good. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, um, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can see when the next videos come out. We're really enjoying the messages that we're getting over on Instagram and the comments. We appreciate it. We've had some lovely, lovely offers recently um, for meetups and get togethers and some partnerships and consignments and stuff. So that's really great, please. Um, stay in touch everybody and uh, let us know how you're all doing. Um, we often lean on people for help and in return we don't mind when people uh, need any help from us. No necessary doing a jigsaw, counting the pieces <laughs> on a jigsaw. <laughs> so take care, we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. See ya.